If you grew up thinking you have a penicillin allergy, there's a chance you may not. According to the CDC, about 10% of U.S. patients report having an allergic reaction to penicillin, but fewer than 1% of people are truly allergic. And here to explain why this can have an impact on your overall health is Dr. Renee Leon, an allergist and immunologist in Southlake. Dr. Leon, thank you so much for thank joining for us this me. afternoon. So what accounts for this huge discrepancy? That's a big difference. Well, I think the big thing is that people who think they're allergic, they get told either at a very young age, so they avoid it for many, many years, mm -hmm. or they may have certain reactions that may not be typical of penicillin allergy or drug allergy, and then they avoid it. And what's the risk of thinking that you have a penicillin allergy when you actually don't? Well, the biggest risk is not getting the drug that you may need, number one, and number two, maybe using a more expensive antibiotic that'll cost a lot more and may lead to things like superbugs or bacterial resistance. How do you know if you truly have a penicillin allergy? Because I think you've told me, you've heard from patients, I, uh, I was told this when I was little, my mom said I had an allergic reaction, so how do you truly know? Well, first of all, history is the most important thing, and then if um, the history meets criteria, then we do skin testing on that patient, and when we skin test them, they'll let us know whether or not there's antibodies present, and if it's negative, we usually do what they call an oral challenge, give them a dose, watch them uh, 30 minutes, give them another dose, watch them about 90 minutes, and you're done. It's pretty easy, actually. So if you're sitting at home and thinking a lot of this applies to me, when is it time to see a doctor again? I think it's if you have had a long uh, a history that's either atypical or it's been a long time since you uh, were told you have penicillin allergy, you may want to meet with your doctor, have them refer you to a board-certified allergist who could help clarify that doubt. And, and like you said, this can be a health, a threat to your health. So it's important for somebody who's listening to this and um, identifies themselves in some of this to go see an allergist as soon as possible. Absolutely. Okay, Dr. Leon, thank you so much for thank your you time. Thank you very we much for having it. me. Thank you.